Hi. <laughs> so do you have in front of you our budget or do you need copies of it? It's the same one as you probably, sorry. We have 56, 602? Um, 630. You just want $10, right? Or maybe it's 602 because that might not work. <coughs> no, I'm, I'm talking this. Oh, sorry, 56, yeah. 602. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, what? Yes. Yeah, right. It's unrecognizable. Okay. Do you have any extra Yeah. Sorry. Take your time. Is anything different? <laughs> Tripping me up. Um, I think it looks exactly like that. 56602. Yeah, that's correct. Pretty straightforward. Do you want to tell us any highlights? Or? Um, do you want to tell us any highlights? Well, I think the, uh, <clears throat> Well, first of all, last year we were uh, able to get uh, and expend the two thousand dollars from town meeting warrant article on computer systems, so we appreciate the town supporting us in that, and we were able to bring our ten-year-old computers up to date. And it's been useful in production of documents and the like. Um, the uh, one highlight that we still have on there, outside of our normal expenses, is the equipment purchase line item, which we felt, um, given the impending move, might be good to have. Uh, of, uh, some money in, uh, in case we need to buy some uh, you know, boxes or who knows what, who knows what in, the, in the transition. So uh, that's just a small safety gap for uh, short term needs. So. Can I just ask a question about programming? Sure. Are there any changes to your programming contemplated in the budget? Uh, any? We weren't able. When I spoke to David, it's really unclear as to when we're moving, so it seems like a talk about talking about what. I will say that every single week this summer, from the day the kids get out of school until the week they go back, we are at the North Hadley Hall, and there's a program running every day. So we're just going to so keep it there until we're already we booking the fall, so it's yeah. just one of these things that. Not to sound flippant, but we've been on this since 2011, so we're, we're waiting for a timeline right. that when this really when it actually starts to hit, then we'll make adjustments as necessary. But I don't want to spend an awful lot of time talking about what might happen. We know eventually it will happen, uh, but it's hard to yeah. figure out where we're going to be. Right. You know, we need to know when it's going to happen because we're <coughs> not in a position yeah. to have that discussion. It's foolish to stop the programs when you've got enough of kid, right. kids involved in them. So. Yeah, we already have people signing up for the summer, yeah. so. So, so when are your good break times? I mean, we would ask you, I mean, there must be a transition between summer and fall. I mean, mm -hmm. what are your good break times? That would be, you know, this is when this program starts. This is when I need to know where I'm going to be. Six days a week we have Zumba in the building, and that's. Actually, I've been threatened. Every day of the year. <laughs> I've already been threatened over the Zumba issue. So. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. We, we but, have, uh, we have so some programs that run all the time. We yeah. have, we have uh, obviously, we have some programs that are weighted up at North Hadley Hall, a little bit heavier with the school calendar. That's um, right. Given the restrictions that we have to be able to operate programs out of that building, you know, it's made made a little bit more challenging to, to book the place, uh, mm -hmm. the activities that we can do there. But, you know, uh, she said, uh, our Kathy and, and Melissa have done a good job getting what they can in there at this point. So when you, when's the downtime? I'd have to say probably Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, the reality is, is if you, you know, if you build it, they will come. So if right. there's a proper planning, that's my job. You know, I can... I don't want to be, there, there are certain obviouses that we've talked about that we need, Zumba being one of them, a wooden floor to exercise on is more than appropriate for a park and recreation to have proper flooring or exercise. Um, but I guess I, I, yeah, the middle of the summer would be a bummer. Um, that would not be okay. That would be a weekend move and we'd have to go somewhere else. That wouldn't work. And right now it's not going to work. And who wants to relocate in the dead winter as well? So, right. you know, so, yeah. But I mean, Thanksgiving yeah. to Christmas is kind of a long We have uh, less programs going on at that time because school is in session generally. We yeah. don't do anything during that holiday uh, around December 25th. 
So we have lunch with Santa, but that's off our site, and you know, there's planning. Yeah, we're working basically every day, but when the time comes, we're going to have to react accordingly. So, so right. if it's absolutely so, as the RFP is being put together to dispose of this property, one of the criteria for evaluation is going to be, you know, when do you does the person who's purchasing it want to take possession of it? You right. know, and then we need to come up with a time period. Well, if we have six months from the time of opening the RFPs to you take a possession of it. That's the most preferential treat preferential situation. We need to kind of lay that out in the RFP. So mm -hmm. as we, we think about this requirement for the RFP, um, that's something we need to know. I mean, do you have a window? I mean, if you know, you know. I guess the bottom line is if you're telling us that, say you say September 1, as long as September 1 I have another decent location to continue right. my programs, then, then you're okay. I think as long it's as... It's like if you have a house, you sell your house, yeah. you need another the, one the to more, live in. The more notice we have, the better. Yeah, but... but that's yeah, true. We, we understand that there's limits on, on a lot of purchasing. Uh, yeah. the, uh, and 90 days would probably be tight, uh, given what we've seen in the market. Uh, but, you know, that can change. And, you know, it's not the same the landscape that we looked at a year and a half, two years ago. Right. What was available out there now is not. Right. And it's constantly, uh, you know, we're always looking at a snapshot of what's available at that time. Right. So, um, and it's hard to negotiate without having definitive times. So anyway, to answer your question, you know, I would say six months would be probably a great timeline, you know. I mean, I'm already there, starting uh, to pack boxes. It's inevitable. I just am waiting for it. Tell me I, think, I think there's two Let's things. Let's get them in the truck. I think there's two things that affect them. Um, a proper place for them to be so that they can continue and expand upon the program. Number one, we can give her a year's notice, but if we don't give her the proper facilities, it's going to make their job next to impossible. I think it's important for us. Not some only, of those programs won't be able to continue. Right. right. So it's. I think it's more important that we say, okay, make sure we have their needs met, and then we can say, okay, this is where we think you're going to land, and this is the time that we want to do it in, and then I think it'll make yeah. their life a lot easier. And, and we're prepared to operate out of satellite locations as well. So if the office is in one location and the, some of the programs have to be in another building, or not, you know, it would be nice to have. I mean, we do that with the school. We have two right. after-school programs. Oh, well, we have three going on three days a week at the school. school right. Um, almost yearly. Right now, it's two days a week. Um, so until June. So we're already doing satellite locations. We can't get busing to the North Hadley Hall. So that's why we did that. Um, you know. So see a hurdle, we'll jump it. But you got to tell us what we're what we're coming against. Right. And and what we're supposed to meet. We should start on a contingency plan now, not six months before they have to do it. Well, some time, <laughs> period, some, some time periods of when they have breaks and when they have to make, a, well, make decisions is also good to know when they do but that. But it's better to have thinking about a place rather than trying to think about it at that time and not wait for the RFP or whatever. I mean, we should be thinking about, well, if it happens within the next six months, then what are we going to do? Although I think these are going to be the easy people. I agree that if you, I mean, thank you yeah. uh, for both of you. I mean, the reality is if we had a decent and proper place to go that would house our already existing and our future programming, then we can do that. And right. every person, parent who's coming to a July program, change of location, Right. end of story. But the bottom line is we need a spot that that works. That works for for that program already planned. Right. And contracted with subcontractors. And then you guys have already been looking at a few places, right? I have, and in fact, one of them has has already been rented. So you know that worked. Check. <laughs> Gone for another year because leases any? are generally. And that's another piece that's part of the it's a juggle. Moving, it's a moving target. It's a moving target because landlords need a lease date. Yeah, nobody's going to hold back waiting for. Yes. Us. us, we have to be prepared to sign a move-in date. So, and we could start that soon, but I hate to do it too soon. Right. And, and they have because, it, like you, you said there, I don't think we're the the harder of the two uh, departments there to relocate. But, but when it, it when it 
if it's going to be an editable, right, mm -hmm. if that work, uh, would it be easier to do it now than uh, to wait? I'm thinking, frankly, the with end? the summer programs and the heating season, to me, I'm looking at, you know, late October would probably be an ideal target time. We've got soccer going on, but that's mm -hmm. not happening there. Right. You know, but you want to get us, uh, probably get us out before the heating season. But our summer time is when she's got it all booked up. And then, you know, so we've got a little bit of time right after the beginning of September. Things are just winding down off the programs, and it'd be nice to have a, you know, a ramp up. So, I don't know. It's, it's well, and part of the summer programming is the field and the convenience of our location there. It is two different rooms. At some, on some days, I have two programs going on on the same day. Yeah. So one's setting up in the classroom downstairs. One's existing upstairs from 9 to 12. The other one's from 12 to 4. So there's two rooms being used, and we have an outdoor area for children to play in. Um, and the Zumba radicals are coming. And then Zumba comes in right after we clean up. So we only could use three, three rooms on those full days, uh, along with our office. So the bottom line is, again, if we had a space, then we have to kind of redirect where we are going right. and make it work. But if all of a sudden you said we're m moving in May, and you didn't give us a playground, well, that would change our entire programming right. over the summer right. because part of it is, you know, is that. So mm -hmm. it's not just a building and not just a, a room, not when you're talking about the kids. and Yeah, if we put programs, we have to find alternate sites that have similar combinations. Right. So, uh, or cancel the program. Is it doable? Yeah, it's doable. Or we can cancel the program. But if you found us something similar, it's doable. We can just change location. Especially because we still own the building, right? So right. we don't have to move it in a day. Right. It's move me here, make it adequate for people to come in, the customer. Right. Make it safe and sound. <coughs> now we play, and then you move while we're there. But that's so, the deal. Huh? So is there any other questions about their budget? We got a little off sheet. I know the move is. <laughs> no, we all go together. It does. Uh, current year's budget, you're coming in quite a bit under. Um, is that, uh, you, how do you project it to be the rest of the year? Our budget is what? No, she's your saying current, current your current year. Our expenditures are, are low. Um, where we are is almost, um, I don't recall where we were last year. I don't have that information. I Can I have that? Just so. Looks like oh. custodial is way under, for example. The custodial is under, but we're not done with T-ball and um, field lining. And the field lining for soccer uh, in the summer is a big one. Yeah. And we haven't been charged for our basketball season for yet. For the school? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll um, that's continuing, but we still have some going on. Okay. Um, and that has been averaging, I think, about 200 or so, maybe more, um, a month, 260 is yeah, coming to mind every time. Run into, that'll run through March. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm trying to say, but... <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, right? <laughs> but you're, you're coming, um, you have no uh, issues with running over budget, certainly, and no. you're okay with where you are. That will never happen, hopefully. Yeah, I feel, I, I feel comfortable with it uh, for the remainder of the year. Okay, any other questions from the Finance Committee? All right. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. We're just going to say it's a Turkle Park more article. It's on there. We're going to talk about it a little later. Too.